Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome or welcome back to our channel and to our kitchen. So recently I made a liquid gold sunshine in a glass juice with my Omega NC900 juicer. You guys absolutely loved it, but there's also other things you can use your juicer for, so I'm gonna share with you two alternative uses. If you guys are into these raw, vegan, nutritious and delicious plant-powered videos, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click that bell to turn on notifications, and join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. As always, leave me some of that love in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this recipe, and let's get going. So juicing is very simple, very minimalistic. There are a few ingredients and they're all raw and living foods, but there are other raw and living recipes that you can use your juicer for. So number one would be a nut butter. Number two would be a sorbet. We're gonna mash it up and we're gonna make this kid-friendly, delicious and nutritious PB and J sorbet. So you're probably thinking PB is peanut butter. So you could use peanuts, but we are going to be using our almonds. We prefer almond butter to peanut butter. It's a little bit more nutritious, but whatever you choose is just fine. For your PB&J sorbet, you will need three to four cups of frozen berries. We've got blackberries, raspberries, and wild blueberries here. You will need about two cups of almonds or peanuts or whichever nut you choose. And you will also need some pitted dates and optionally, you can also include some dried mulberries. So for our nut butter, we're actually going to be juicing the pitted dates with our almonds. And we're gonna throw in some mulberries as well. This should help everything stick together. In order to help our dates and dried mulberries process more efficiently, I'm just adding a little bit of water to help them soak and soften up. You can also do just the nuts by themselves in the juicer. You might have to run them through a couple of times to get them to the creamy consistency that you would like. We're gonna make this pretty lean and clean because that's how we like to do things. But if you would like extra sweetener, feel free to drizzle maple syrup or agave nectar on top of and throughout your mixed berries and then run it through the juicer. Another option for the nuts would be once you run them through to add oil to make it more of a smooth consistency, but we have found just as much success using a splash of water in the end. First step, make sure that you keep your frozen fruit in the freezer so that it can maintain its sorbet consistency when you juice it. In the meantime, we're gonna work on our nut butter. So we're gonna place our almonds along with our soaked dates to a bowl. We'll add in our mulberries as well. You can hang on to this excess soaking water. It might help in the end to mix a little bit throughout. So I'm gonna take my almond, date, and mulberry mixture, turn the juicer on. You have to be careful feeding it through slowly, a little bit at a time. So you can see how gooey and delicious this is. Mm. So now that we have our chewy, gooey nut butter finished up, just go ahead and place it back into a bowl or a jar. You can kind of mash it together. Next step, we're going to make our fruit sorbet. So I'm just gonna take, and same thing with the frozen fruit as the nuts, just add a little bit at a time, slowly. Look at that. <laughs> How much fun. Like I said, this recipe is super kid friendly. So much fun to make. Next step is to press our sorbet into one even consistency. And then you can use a bowl. I'm gonna use a mason jar. Once you've added some of your berry sorbet, you can layer in some of your almond date butter. So now I've decided I'm going to add some fresh berries into the mix. Next, we're gonna do another layer of our sorbet goodness. 
Technically, you could call this a sorbet parfait. <laughs> I should say this can also work as a fantastic pie or tart crust. If you wanna go all raw with it, I've done that before. I'll put a link below to a couple of our awesome, delicious recipes. And now, for the finishing touches, everything is better with berries on top. Okay, you guys, here is a look at the final product of our PB&J sorbet, or you could call it a PB&J parfait. <laughs> so it's looking extra delicious. If you guys like this recipe, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications. Join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. We've got more nutritious and delicious recipes coming your way. Leave me a comment, leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought, maybe what your kiddos thought. Like I said, this one is so much fun to make. Follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram at dbstanzik, at Aaron Stanzik. And until next time, eat, move, rest your best, and don't let go of summer. <laughs> you guys ready for the final taste? P, B, and J. Mm, that Omega juicer makes the best sorbet.